I just stepped in a pothole, twisted my ankle again. Oh, man, that hurt. I'll bear on Eddie getting it done. But yeah, it's not too bad. He really doesn't care what it looks like. He wants a knockdown, so I don't worry about the clumps. I don't worry about none of that. We just get it mowed down and looking halfway decent. Get it weeded a little bit and then we're good to go. How many guys does it take to change an edger blade? <laughs> Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. All right guys, Monday morning as usual. I'm a little tired. We got a full crew today. We got Eddie. Yes. We got Alvaro, we got Jesse. I think today I'm counting myself as like a, maybe a half to three quarter of a person. You, you have five to Huh? You have ticket to the fine. Well, sure. yes, Alvaro just pointed out to me that uh, new company policy, if you're not wearing your shirt, you get fined. And I'm the only one not wearing a shirt. So, I'll pay myself. <laughs> you can uh, you can take my word on that, I'll barrel. Okay. So, anyway, this week is starting off kind of the way last week ended. The Duramax is back in the shop. It's leaking transmission fluid. And it's got a uh, code on it that says uh, something about... Uh, Something to the effect that the gears aren't working in the transmission. I can't remember what it said. So, another one of those days. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Some headphones. I'm jamming. Turn this off here. Check it out, guys. Got me some headphones. I love them. I love them. I love them. Used them all day. Do make your ears a little sweaty, but I don't mind that. I love them. Uh, sounds very well. They're the Skull Candy. They're wireless. 
uh, they were like 80 bucks. So, uh, like I said, I really wanted some Beats, but man, I just can't spend no $300. And I gotta have wireless, man. I'm so used to having wireless, especially with the LGs. I can't have no cords. I'm always jerking on it, and that's not for me, but. All right, guys, to make a long story short, thinking I might try to fix this one real quick instead of buying a new engine. Uh, the lifter, it took me a little bit to figure out what they were talking about when they said lifter. I was thinking they were saying the, uh, the, the piston, not the case. Lifter is just like a little tappet that's inside your engine that the camshaft rolls on and that's what opens and closes your valves. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna tear this thing up and uh, see if I can't uh, figure, figure that out. They said it's stuck inside there, so we'll see. <sighs> There it is. There's my engine. So. <laughs> this is funny. This is seriously so funny to me because any of you guys that know, they've been following me for a little while. They know what we did to that one. We tore it apart. Basically rebuilt it. I think I can actually do this one on my own. And to be honest with you, the reason why I want to do it is just to prove to myself that I can do it. But, you know, I'll tell you what, guys. Uh, the reason why I like working on my stuff is, for one, it's a pride issue for me. I like knowing that I can fix something. Uh, something I enjoy. So, but also, you know, I took this, I took this uh, mower to the shop, to the dealer. And they basically just said, you need a new engine. So, I was getting ready to spend $1,500, $1,600. And... I don't think I need to now. I really don't. Alright guys, so I got the engine apart. Wasn't too bad. Uh, the lifters should be because I know they ride on the crankshaft. They're in there somewhere. I think I have to take this out. There they are. These are your lifters, right there. I just so I'm not sure what he means by stuck, but they're all out. These four things they ride on the camshaft right here. That's how the valves open up and close, because these get pushed down, which I think pushes onto the push rod, which open and closes the valve. I think that's how it works. Alright guys, so here's the deal with the engine. I got it torn apart. Uh, the uh, lifters came out and push rod is bent. So, you know, very well the lifter could have been stuck and bent the push rod. I don't know. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to order a new push rod. I'm going to put them back in the valves. I'm going to adjust the valves, get all that nice and, nice and clean and uh, where it's supposed to be. And I'm going to test it and see if the valves are working properly. If they are, I'm going to button it back up and put it back on. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to go order some parts and probably have to wait a week or so for it to come in. Uh, that's been the norm when I've ordered parts online. About a week, so... The engine saga will continue just like the other one. Uh, hopefully this one don't drag on for a couple months, hopefully. But the good thing is, is this is a uh, basically a backup mower. Uh, I think the Turf Tracer is going to end up being the backup mower once I get the Vantage working because I think I'm going to like the Vantage a little bit better. It's a little bit faster. And uh, from what I can tell, it, it was cutting really good. So I'm pretty excited about using the Vantage. So I want to get it fixed and, and uh, start using it.